What's up guys, welcome to the channel. So I just recently got two really cool retro inspired games for the Nintendo Switch. And that's Iconoclast and The Messenger on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I think if you guys like anything you see on my channel, you guys are really gonna like these games. So let's go ahead and unbox and do a first impressions on Iconoclast and The Messenger on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, so the first game that we have here, The Messenger. I heard a lot of good things about this game. Everyone I've met that talked about this particular game said great things and they said they can't wait to play it. This was before the game actually came out. Um, well, I guess this is number 4,000 and something out of 8,000, so I guess we know there was 8,000 of these made. Um, I guess there's like a collector's edition for this too. I don't know, this is the one I got. Anyway, let's crack this sucker open now. It feels thick, so I would say there's probably a manual in here. You know, um, I can tell kind of now with the Switch games, I've bought enough of them to know, you know, when they have a manual, there's something in there. It's more than just a cart. And it's a pretty, pretty thick manual. Um, you know, people get on these little companies like this one. You know, they're not limited run. They're just another one of those limited companies. But man, they're putting out, God, they're putting out stickers in there. Reversible cover art. Look at that manual. I mean, you can't feel it, guys, but it's thick. It's kind of got like a little foil where it says instruction manual at the bottom. It reminds me of like uh, the covers on like the working designs games on like the, the Sega CD, Saturn, and PS1. But anyway, um, yeah, full color manual. Yeah, this uh, this special reserve games. This company does it right, man, with the manuals and like all the, I guess, goodies, if you want to call them that. Um, yeah, <laughs> awesome. You know, Limited Run just puts this like little card in there now. It's like a folded piece of paper like something you get when you buy a repro Sega CD game you know so uh, yeah you know I'm, I'm impressed with this game you know for what you get it, it's like you're buying an actual video game a physical video game with a manual so I'm uh, I'm just really impressed with that you know the stickers and you know there's other games that have come out kind of like this that have done kind of the same thing like Code of Princess this isn't quite Code of Princess but it is the messenger on the Nintendo Switch so yeah, the messenger. I'm totally digging this game so far. Um, you know the 2D sprite work, the you know just the the retro inspired aspects of this game. I, I really dig it. I like this game the same way I like all the stuff about Shovel Knight. You know, and as a matter of fact, when Shovel Knight came out, that's when I was really really like you know some of these retro inspired games are serious and just as good as a lot of the best games that we got when we were kids. So. Yeah, I, this game's awesome so far. So this game was actually developed by a company called Sabotage Studio. I don't know of any other games they developed, but you know, anything else they put out like this, I'm, I'm dying to know what it is. Um, you know, let me know in the comments down below if you know anything about this uh, developer. It was published by Devolver Digital. Now I know Devolver Digital also handled the Metal Wolf Chaos XD, which I still have not gotten my copy of yet. I ordered that for the PS4. Um, and that's from, I believe I ordered it from Special Reserve Games. Um, now, this, this game I did not order from Special Reserve Games. I actually got it from a retro store in my area called Regen. It's in uh, White Marsh, Maryland. Um, also, awesome little retro store in my area. Um, if you're down this way, stop on by. They have, um, they have a lot of cool stuff in there. They have imports. They have, you know, oddball systems, you know, stuff for collectors. Um, I've gotten a lot of shooters out of there. They have Japanese stuff. They have a lot of arcade sticks. They have arcade cabinets inside their store that you can play. Um, you know, there's always collectors trading in like crazy mm -hmm. stuff there. And I've gotten like some really cool arcade sticks there. And they got a copy of Macross Scrambled Valkyrie there right now, 70 bucks. Yep, I paid 100 for my copy at a convention. So just you know, go to Regen, help uh, help the community out. Anyway. This game was like 60, 65 bucks, something like that there. Um, so I got this at the store. I know that's kind of a lot to pay. My buddy said this game was like 30 when it came out on the website, but you know, I don't mind paying a reseller when it's some, a store in the community, you know, the money goes to a good place. So they got copies of it there, switching PS4. Um, I don't know if this thing came out on the Vita or not, but damn, this thing came out on the Vita. I might have to find a copy of that. But uh, yeah, Messenger, you know, I'm about two hours in. Uh, totally recommend this game. I recommend it for like the $60 price point. Um, you know, I don't mind kicking out money like that. That's pretty much, you're, you're paying AAA title money for a game that's going to have a lot of replay value for you and you're going to consider collectible. So there you go. That's the messenger on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, guys, so here we have Iconoclasts. Iconoclasts? 
I don't know how you pronounce that, Iconoclasts. Anyway, when this game first came out on the PC, I believe in the PS4, that's when I first heard about it, um, people were going nuts over this game. And uh, I never played it back then, I saw it for the Switch at a store, a uh, different store in my area, not the same store that I got the other game at. But uh, let's pop this thing open now. The weight, this thing actually feels like it does have a manual in there. And Limited Run's not been doing a lot of manuals. They've been doing like a folded piece of paper, if anything. But, you know, thank God this game got a manual. If any game deserves a manual, it, it's a game like this. Um, there's, there's a lot. I'm not that far into this game, okay? But uh, there's a lot of interesting aspects to this game. Um, it's really cool. That, that inside cover art's pretty cool. Uh, this manual feels uh, feels nice. It's nice in color. It's a nice color manual. Um, you know, it sucks they have to make the manual so small for these Switch games, but you know, case. I mean, what what do you do? You know. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm digging that. There's a note section. Note section. The last game did not have a note section. You know, so I'm digging. I always dig the note section, even though I never write in it. Um, and when I buy retro games that have manuals and see a note section, I always think that's pretty cool if there's something scribbled in there. But anyway, that's Iconoclasts on the Nintendo Switch. I do want to say this. I have not played this game a ton at this point. A couple hours. I got a couple hours into this game. So what do I think so far? I think this game is pretty cool. I mean, me being my age, I'm almost 40 years old. I love 2D sprite-based games. I grew up with that kind of thing. You know, this game, it, at least so far, it hits on all the right areas. Um, Iconoclast was developed by one guy who goes by the name of Kojak. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Konjak? Something like that. And it was published by Bifrost Entertainment. I don't know much about the developer or the publisher, but just throwing it out there, at least that's what Wikipedia says. Uh, this game actually had releases on the PS4 Vita for Windows, so it had, um, you know, PC release, it had a Mac release, it had a Linux release, and then a subsequent Nintendo Switch release. Um, it was actually in development. This game's been in development since 2010, so that's eight years. Uh, this game did come out in 2018, and then it came out a little bit later the same year for the Nintendo Switch. And if I was going to place this game in a category, again, this is just what I've played so far this game. I would say this is a single-player action platformer with environmental puzzles. Um, you know, it's not super heavy action. But it's not like a 2D shooter like a Mega Man game. But, again, it's not, like, super Metroid... I mean, it is kind of a Metroidvania style of game, but it's not, like, you know, Symphony of the Night or, you know, Super Metroid or anything like that. I think this game's pretty cool, what I've played of it so far. Um, it's not a super expensive game. You know, I don't know what resellers are going to end up selling this thing for, but, you know, for the Switch, um, you know, these are, unfortunately, released by those limited release companies, so, you know, it can kind of go either way. But I bought this at the store. It was, like, 35 bucks. So pretty reasonable. Um, you know, I can see what all the fuss is about with this game. It's really pretty. And, you know, one game that kind of comes to mind, or like a one series that kind of comes to mind in playing this, is the Super Mario World games that came out on the Super Nintendo, uh, Mario World 2, and the original uh, Super Mario World. Just something about the sounds and the graphics of this game really remind me of Super Mario World, and that's not a bad thing because those games were pretty amazing on the Super Nintendo. But, uh, yeah, you know, Iconoclast, you see it pick it up, especially if you're into those 2D sprite-based games. So that's a quick look at the Messenger and Iconoclast on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I only played a few hours on both of those games, and you might be saying, well, John, if you're saying these games are so good, why aren't you playing them right now? Well, to you, I'll say it's because I've been stuck on the Grandia HD collection on the Nintendo Switch, and it is amazing. It's just as amazing now as it was when I was a kid. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, and if you like awesome video games, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Till next time, guys. Peace out.